Hi there, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and I'm so excited because today we're going to be talking about Christmas styling, which is one of my favorite things to do. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos and grab yourself a cup of hot cocoa so we can get cozy as we style for the holidays. I shared a look at this Christmas mantle that I styled recently on Instagram and it was one of my most popular posts. So I wanted to give you guys a few more tips and tricks on how to put it all together. First of all, um, this pine garland is amazing. It's one that looks very real and I love the tone of it. It's just so natural and I love having an organic feel, kind of that natural bring nature inside vibe um, for my Christmas decor. It just feels warm and inviting and I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of make this whole thing. First of all, we are going to take um, take one of these garlands, the pine garland. It's uh, five feet, so my mantle is just about five feet wide. If you have a longer mantle, you can definitely get a couple of them and have it overhang on the edge. That's really pretty too. In fact, over on the edge here, I did let it overhang a little um, when I put the second garland on. This one that I mixed in is actually a faux eucalyptus. It looks so real, and I love mixing the greens together just for a more, um, kind of diverse and natural look, because that's how nature is. You're gonna see a lot of blending of different green elements. So I layered that one throughout. I kind of actually pulled the pieces up um, through the pine garland, so they're kind of interwoven together. And then I put a second pine garland over the top, and, and again, just kind of pulled that eucalyptus through. I wanted a little bit more full look. I did initially post this with just one of the pine garlands. So if you only have one, you can totally still get away with it. But I did add a second one for a little more fullness here. And then, lastly for the greens, um, I got a few of these just small um, cedar picks. I'll link something similar. You can even take a large one and cut it down because you don't need very much of that cedar. I just mixed in three different pieces there, there, and then right here. Um, so it gives you more of that dimensional look. So that is all you need to do for the garland portion. Just mix those together. It's pretty simple and then we'll move on to the next step. I then um, attach my stockings and I'm still looking for the perfect stocking holder. So right now these are just on here with um, tape. <laughs> I just tape them under because they're actually pretty well hidden with the greens. Um, so you could get away with that. Um, I will definitely share when I find some good stocking holders though. And what I did with the stockings is I did three different ones and kept them in the neutral tones. Again, for that really natural organic look that I love. And I did, there's six people in my family, so I just did three on this side and three on the other side. It kind of lets um, there be a little space, little breathing room in the middle, which is nice and kind of lets these bells stand out, which are kind of my favorite. I keep bumping them and they make that magical sound. Um, so definitely you need one of these garlands. They're, they're the cutest thing. Um, and it has that kind of old fashioned Christmas feel, which is so just homey and, and sweet. Um, then I did bring in for a little bit more of a wood element because I love natural elements like this. Um, these wood bead garlands, these little Scandinavian style homes, so cute. And then also these wood candle holders here. I will link all of this stuff for you. Um, it's all available to buy still. And hopefully these tips will help you put together your mantle for the holidays to have that organic, natural, Christmassy feel. And uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because I will be sharing more Christmas decor and holiday tips coming soon.